guys, welcome back to another video. It's my song here and like you know the word of God is highly indivisible and I've got five lessons that I drew from Mark chapter 5 and I'll love to share with you guys right about now. So yeah, if you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Umasom and this channel will inspire you to live a happy, balanced and fulfilled life. So do comment in the comment section where you're watching me from, I'd love to meet you. Please do consider subscribing if you love this channel. In today's video, I'm going to draw our five letters. I'm going to post the scriptures below this video so that you could know where I'm drawing the scriptures from. So the number one lesson I'm going to draw out from here is the fact that Jesus is drawn to the needs of people. But he told his disciples, let us move to the other side of the sea and that is the country of the Gadarenes because there was there's one man that has been rejected by the country, they've left him to the tombs because they could not tame him, they could not chain him. Remember the man with the legion of demons, Jesus came all the way to meet him. Another thing that shows that Jesus responds to the needs of people is the needs of the woman with the issue of blood. Remember people were tracking Jesus ceremoniously and for bragging rights, oh I touched Jesus, I touched Jesus. But nothing really happened to them except the woman that had a need, an expectation of a healing and she touched the hem of Jesus' garment. Even when Jesus' mind wasn't there per se, but as she touched Jesus with her needs, with an expectation of a need to be met, the Bible says that the fountain of her blood ceased because she was having issues of blood for 12 years. She has suffered many things from many physicians, but at that point, she got her healing. So, as the Bible says that as Jesus is, so are we in this world. So God expects us that we should be drawn to the needs of people. We should be sensitive to know when people are in need because God has placed us here to be agents of the kingdom while on earth. The second thing that I would love to point out is that Jesus could go at any length just for one man. Remember when the Bible talked about the disciples that were experiencing some turbulence in the sea, the storms and everything was was shaking the boat as if the boat was going to capsize and Jesus was busy sleeping. It was on that journey. It was on that journey to the other side of the sea to deliver that one man that the disciples were having that turbulence in the sea. So Jesus knew that they were going to experience such in the sea but Jesus didn't mind. For saving just that one soul, he was interested in that mission. And so a songwriter said, there's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. That's what Jesus can do just for one man. He, of course, Jesus came down from heaven. He came down all the way to die for you and I. If I were the only man upon the face of the earth, Jesus would have still come and shed his blood and suffered the insults, the humiliation he suffered on earth just for me. The third thing that I would love to draw from the scripture is that Jesus is not in so much need of a multitude to save a nation, right? So when he delivered this man, this man called Legion, because he had Legion of Demons in him, he, after saving him, the man insisted, oh Jesus, I want to go with you, you know, because the country has rejected him, obviously. And so when he saw the man that could save him and deliver him from years of pain and years of, you know, of darkness, and he was like, Jesus, I want to go with you. But Jesus insisted, no, you're not coming with me. Go back to the country. Go back to your country and tell them of what I've done for you. Share the word. Since the country rejected me, you are now my mouthpiece. So the man became his mouthpiece. God delivered him, healed him, and infused himself on him. And it's like, I'm sending you for it now. You are now the missionary to, to, to your country. Go ahead and tell them all that I've done for you. And a place that Jesus himself could not penetrate at the time. It was one man he sent. The Bible says that the man went about into his country sharing the news of how God has delivered him and set him free. And the Bible says that everyone was marveled. So you might say, oh, I'm the only one saved in my community. I'm the only one saved in my family. I cannot do it all by myself. I need all the crowds to be able to deliver my... No! God sent you, yes you, if you're the only one that is saved in your community, God wants to use you to deliver your community. If you're the only one saved in your family, then you are already enough to, to deliver your family. You're already enough to set your family free from the bondage of darkness. Because God has put everything he needs, the capacity, the potential, the fire, the power, the energy, everything that God needs to deliver your people is already in your hand. Don't look down on yourself because God has endowed you with everything, all the capacity that he needs to expand the kingdom. The first thing that I would like to draw from the life of Jesus in this same chapter is that he comes even in the impossible situations and when he shows up everything is is settled, right? A songwriter called him impossibility specialist, you know, 
at that point when you've come to the end of yourself like the man with the legion of demons he has come to the end of himself he could not help any, himself anymore people could not even help him his own country abandoned him but jesus came up and his case was sealed and settled kacharya's daughter she was at the point of death but later she even died completely at the point where her death has come they were now talking about burial but jesus showed up and the case was settled and look at the woman with the issue of blood right she has come to the end of herself all her hope was gone she has suffered so many things from many physicians and they've taken everything from her and yet she was worse than she was before and jesus showed up and her case was settled it doesn't matter what your struggles are it doesn't matter how much you've spent it doesn't matter how everyone has abandoned you you feel all alone you know you've come to the end of yourself you feel like you've hit a wall you can't go forward you can't go backward you don't know what to do that is where jesus is a specialist he's a specialist in dealing with those kind of situations so don't be afraid to run to jesus at this point in time in your life and jesus will show up as he showed up for those people and he will grant you help the fifth thing i noticed about jesus in the scripture is that jesus knows the level of understanding of every believer of everyone he knows what we can accommodate in the level of our experiences and knowledge and what can be beyond us and if he needs to expose you to a higher realm he strengthens your mind and brings you to the level of that knowledge before he exposes you to it now look at the case of jairus daughter at first jairus daughter was sick and not dead when jairus came to meet jesus for healing at the point of going to heal jairus daughter she now died remember some people came to jairus and were like oh don't bother jesus because your daughter is already dead at first, Jesus allowed the multitude to follow him and go because the multitude, they were already used to the deliverances, they were already used to healings. So it was okay for them to see Jesus heal another sick person. But this time around, when the news came that Jairus' daughter was dead, Jesus immediately had a change of plans. It was like, okay, I'm not going to get everyone to go with me. I'm not going to get the multitude to go with me. Imagine even the people that came to tell Jairus that his child was dead, told him, do not bother the master anymore because the child is already dead. Even themselves, they, they have not even come to that level of understanding or knowledge that Jesus could raise the dead. They understood he could heal, he could deliver, but not about raising the dead. So Jesus understood that this one is beyond this one. So he needed to take a limited number of people. That's why he had to strengthen Jairus. Immediately he looked at Jairus and said, don't be afraid, only believe right and jesus took only his three disciples you know those ones that he has been working with hand in hand that's peter james and john that like the three musketeers right he took only the three of them and jairus and went to the house and when he got to the house he even met more people there that he knew they were not ready to flow with him in what he was about to do the bible says he still sent all of them out and had only peter james and john and the parents of the daughter before the miracle could take place at that point, he knew that their level of understanding could carry them. So now this means that God expects us to grow in our level of understanding. Before God will expose you, you know, there are many things that we'll be experiencing now and we'll be thinking, oh, that's all about God. You know, that's all we could see about God. But the truth is that what God wants us to grow from level to level, from grace to grace, from glory to glory. As we grow in our understanding about God, God exposes us to more. This year 2024 is for your own good that you grow, that intentionally grow because God will want to expose you to more of himself. God wants to expose you to more more revelations about himself but he needs you to keep growing from one level to the other when he says that there is a seriousness there is a hunger inside of you he will want to expose more of himself to you so this year be hungry for god be like jesus be drawn to the needs of people and allow yourself to grow in revelation of jesus and jesus will reveal more of himself to you i hope you were blessed by this video thank you for tuning in and i'd love to see you in my next video as we share the word of god to bless our lives love you guys bye, -bye.